For eons, humans have been cooking up brand new ways to slice, dice, hack, and stab. Edged weapons such as swords, knives and daggers were the arms of choice for warriors around the globe. You definitely wouldn't want to tangle with any of the historical swords in this video, especially the last one. Number 10. Kopish. Believed to have evolved from either battle axes or farm implements, this intimidating weapon was used in ancient Egypt. Only the outer edge of the curved blade was sharp. The weapon was a symbol of authority, and several pharaohs owned kopishes, including Ramses II and Tutankhamun, who was entombed with this. Number 9. Kukri. For centuries, this short, inwardly curved blade has been a traditional tool and weapon in Nepal. Europeans first became fascinated with the Kukri in the early 1800s, when the forces of the British East India Company clashed with Nepalese Gorkha warriors in a bloody war. And even to this day the Kukri remains a standard-issue Gorkha weapon. Number 8. Falkata. The Falkata was a curved two-foot-long sword that was used by Celtiberian warriors in ancient Spain. Crafted from high-quality iron or steel, its distinctive blade was designed to combine the chopping power of an axe with the slashing ability of a sword. The Falkata is most famously associated with the Carthaginian general Hannibal. Number 7. Ulfbert Sword. Of all the weapons made by Viking smiths, those crafted by Ulfbert were the most coveted. They were so strong that a warrior wielding one was feared to be a demigod. What makes these swords so interesting is how they were forged. The weapons were made by heating iron to a temperature of around 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, and that technology didn't become commonplace until the Industrial Revolution, about 800 years later. Number 6. Bolo Knife. The Bolo Knife was originally an all-purpose tool used for clearing bush or harvesting crops, but in the hands of revolutionaries, it became a formidable weapon of war. The machete-like blades originated in the Philippines, where native guerrillas used them as improvised arms in the Philippine Revolution, the Spanish-American War, and the Philippine-American War. The Fursan blades later saw action during World War II, and they remain a common weapon in Filipino martial arts. Number 5. Katana. More than a feared weapon in movies, books, and video games, it was the choice of the samurai and was a symbol of social class. From 1100 onward dueling and close quarters combat ruled the day. The slightest delay in drawing your weapon might prove fatal. So a skilled samurai would practice for hundreds of hours to both draw it and attack an opponent in a single move. Number 4. Bowie Knife. American history's most iconic survival knife was named after Jim Bowie, the pugnacious frontiersman who became a leading figure in the Texas Revolution prior to his death in 1836. The weapon he used was most likely a thick butcher's knife, the knives soon developed a distinctive look that included a 9 to 15 inch blade and a clip point, and they became all the rage on the frontier, where they were used for everything from skinning animals and chopping wood to barroom brawls. Number 3. Roman Gladius. This makes all this for sheer longevity. The Gladius cut out the Roman Empire and policed it for 800 years. According to some historians, the design didn't even originate with Rome. They saw the effectiveness of this simple short sword used by Celtic mercenaries who fought for Hannibal and adopted it as their own. Though it could cut off an enemy's limbs if it was sharp enough in close quarters combat, it was primarily used as a thrusting weapon. Number 2. Attila the Hun's Sword of Mars. Many legends swirled around the life of Attila the Hun, the barbarian ruler who became known as the Scourge of God. One of the most famous concerns is his personal war sword, Attila proclaimed that the sword had belonged to the Roman god of war Mars, and displayed it to the Huns, as proof that he was destined to succeed in all his military campaigns. He went on to carry his sword of Mars until his death in 453 AD. But the fabled blade has since been lost to history. Number 1. Arumi. The best bladed weapons are at least somewhat flexible, but the Arumi is downright floppy. When swung, it acts like a whip. A metal whip. A metal whip with two sharp edges. This might be the only one on a list that altered the sword as a weapon of mass destruction. It's composed of many flexible metal blades as many as 30 and attached to a single handle. Without good whip skills the user could just as easily hurt or kill himself. There was arguably no better sword-like weapon for taking on multiple opponents, especially if one was held in each hand. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.